this absolutely massive Cardano catalyst, yeah, absolutely and massive in the same sentence, really shouldn't be overlooked. And we've talked about this before on the channel, but today we're gonna dive in once again. Just before we dive in though, if you guys aren't already staking your ADA to earn passive ADA on your ADA, risk-free essentially, please consider doing so while helping support me and decentralize the network with the Jack stake pool on Cardano. Okay, so what's going on? What's happening? What's the catalyst? Well, before we get into the catalyst, let's look at the markets. Yeah, markets, markets. Not everyone likes to look at the prices, and honestly, I rarely check them. But when I do come and check them, I'm delighted to see that Bitcoin is doing very well, very close to breaking a new all-time high, and as you may notice, Cardano not doing so well in terms of price. Here's the thing though. What I like to look at is the fundamentals. The fundamentals haven't changed, they're still strong. I'm not worried about the price. Now, the catalyst that I'm talking about is more of a long-term catalyst, but in the short term, I think this could be a major uphand play for Cardano 2. Okay, what's the catalyst? Let's get into it. The catalyst is simply gas fees and Ethereum self-destruction. Now, before we dive any further into this, I actually love Ethereum. I don't own any Ethereum, but I think Ethereum has done so much good for the space and that mission to get towards a financial revolution is shared with Ethereum, Cardano, Solana, whatever else, right? All these things are building pieces of a bigger puzzle. So don't go bash on Ethereum saying it's garbage. Ethereum has done a lot of good things for the space and will continue to grow and do so. But, but when we're talking about fees and user friendliness, it has become very apparent the crime that it is to pay for a full tank of gas in real life would be cheaper than sending an Ethereum transaction half the time, especially when you're doing high demand things like NFT drops and all that good stuff. So what's the catalyst for Cardano? Well, the catalyst is simply that Cardano has a flat rate fee and it's much cheaper than the average $15 Ethereum transaction. And also in my experience, I've never had an Ethereum transaction be only $15, so this data might not be perfect. But the fees are essentially 40 times less. And you're going to see here we have Solana too, and they're even cheaper. But that's not everything, because we want to keep in mind decentralization first, cheap fees second. Ethereum actually followed that um, in decentralization first, but obviously their network was not quite ready to scale on layer one. Now, Ethereum does have a layer two coming and they also have Ethereum 2.0. So pretty awesome, I think they're gonna do fine, but, 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 but right now, the only blockchain with proof of stake and smart contracts, essentially full functionality on both ends is Cardano. And yes, those smart contracts are not perfect yet, we're still growing them, but the capability is there and Ethereum has been working towards this for essentially the past four years with Ethereum 2.0. So the catalyst is Cardano's fees are much lower. They are a fixed rate and they are much more user friendly. Now, why is this a catalyst and why do I think this is actually going to be a major increase in the Cardano network? Well, when people are addicted to NFTs or they're just getting into them for the first time and they do an Ethereum transaction, most people, if they're like me, and they don't want to spend even 10 bucks to go out to eat, aren't going to want to spend 35 bucks on a transaction fee. Never mind actually buying something, and then on top of that, you have to pay the $35 gas fee. It's not feasible. It's not a normal thing that everyday people are going to want to pay, or even going to you know, end up paying more than once once they realize. So where are those people going to go? They're going to go to Cardano. They're going to go to Solana. But... The more things grow, the more we educate, the more people will realize that Cardano does this and no one can stop them. It's permissionless. So people might go to Solana first, but eventually when network outages happen and things happen, my gut feeling is we're going to see them come to Cardano because the end choice, the best choice to me for NFTs and things like that right now is Cardano, mostly because we have that full layer of true decentralization, and there's a lot of decentralized components here. That's why I love it so much. Although I'm not a maximalist on Cardano. There's other blockchains that do things really, really well, and they're gonna excel in those areas, but being able to do them in a decentralized manner is something that you just can't put a price tag on. 
So the catalyst for Cardano is, yes, essentially Ethereum self-destruction. But I don't think Ethereum is going anywhere, and I do think Cardano will be there to help Ethereum grow in the 2.0 stage. One last look at the price charts. Yes, Cardano is down for the week and the 24 hours. It's probably the bloodiest crypto out there in the top charts. But when you look at it this way, it doesn't really matter. This has no real reflection of the fundamentals and things that are building right now. Uh, just because you know Binance Coin is up way more than Cardano in the week doesn't make it fundamentally better. It means it's performed well in the market this week. So keep that in mind going forward. And in my opinion, I'm just going to stick with fundamentals, fundamentals, fundamentals. What projects are building on strong fundamentals, including and especially so the decentralization factor. Because in the long run, all these networks, if they're not decentralized, have a critical point of failure. That point of failure could take down the whole network, just like, you know, if you cut off a spider's head, it's dead. If you have a starfish, if you didn't know, if you cut it in half, it grows into two starfishes, starfish. So that's Cardano versus all the other not so set, not so decentralized blockchains. And that's why that's where I'm placing my bets. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's free. You can unsubscribe whenever you want. And then, yeah, I don't know. Cardano's cool. You're cool. See you in the next video.